it's clear that there are no signs of a ceasefire happening anytime soon. We're seeing more and more people flooding into Syria, where we've been working for the last nine years, providing medical and humanitarian aid. We're seeing increasing numbers of people in the areas that we're working in coming in from Lebanon. Some of those people are renting properties. Some of them are staying with relatives and friends. In some of the areas that we're working, not many of those people are actually registering as refugees. There are noticeable changes in the areas where they're staying. Prices of rents have gone up significantly in the last week. Also, the prices of food are also going up. A lot of food products now are an extra 30 to 40% more expensive now than they were last week before this crisis really started to escalate. Other people also locally are starting to stockpile because they're afraid of running out. They're afraid that there are going to be more and more people arriving and not enough food to serve everyone. Not only the local community, but we too are also preparing for greater numbers of people. The situation is changing day by day. We can't predict what's going to be happening a week from now, but what we can see is that the numbers of people are increasing. One of the things that's concerning is the growing number of people staying in collective shelters. There are families and children staying in some of the shelters in areas where we're working. Many of them are poor, very poor, and they really don't have the things that they need and they're not able to feed themselves. Our teams are now making plans to go in and feed some of those families who are in need in these collective shelters. They're only getting about one meal a day. That's all that is being donated and that's all they have the, the resources to provide. Our team are making plans to also go in and provide food for these families who are in need. Currently, the numbers of people in these shelters are in the hundreds, but our concern is that in a very short space of time, we're going to be looking at thousands. In addition to food, we're also looking at providing some medical support to the people in these shelters as well through our existing medical centre through our staff and resources there. All of the indicators that we're seeing are suggesting that this is going to get worse over the coming period rather than better. We need to be prepared to provide for the people who are in need, both the Syrian people and the Lebanese people who are coming in and who don't have a place to stay, who don't have the things that they need. Over the coming days and weeks, we're looking to provide as much support as we can in whatever format we can, the most immediate being food, uh, and then medical care. We'll have to look at whether or not we start to provide non-food items for people who are coming if they're arriving without anything. If you can help in any way through your schools, your churches, your communities, your workplace, anything that you can do to help us raise funds to support these people would be greatly appreciated. We've been working in Syria for the last nine years. We've responded to many of the enormous crises that have taken place there during that time. We've supplied aid to hundreds of thousands of people as various sieges have been broken in response to the earthquake, in response to many of the difficult situations that have unfolded over the last nine years in Syria. We've been working there continuously during this time. We have teams on the ground, permanent teams on the ground, and we already feed and educate a lot of orphans and vulnerable children and provide support for many widows, disabled people. We've got farming projects, we have medical projects. So anything that you can do to help us to provide for the people in need as these needs unfold and escalate would be really greatly appreciated. Thank you.